It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Stig Baguette's Promenade Porter coming in at 5.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. One to two finger tan coloured head. Yes, it looks like a very, very good porter. More or less jet black in the glass. You can see a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass there. That kind of represents the overall, well, no, it don't. No, it don't. It is more or less jet black with a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass there. It's quite a clear porter, as I can see, in terms of a porter. There's no, there's no sediment floating around. There's no bits and pieces. Uh, the head's kept itself quite nicely as I've been talking. Good lacing on the glass. Let's get the aroma. And this has just brought an instant smile to my face. I call this, I can't, no, I can't call it that, can I? I'm gonna call it a Scandinavian style stout. I normally call them Scandinavian style imperial stouts, but this is not imperial strength. But it's got that very familiar, very, very good solid aroma to it for, for a porter. Lots of berry flavours, lots of biscuit flavours, lots of coffee, chocolate, caramel flavours. Fig, plum, dark berry, dark grape, maybe a bit of raisin. So vinous really, a vinous aroma. It smells great, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Oh, blimey. Blimey, blimey. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What an absolutely fantastic porter we have in our hands. Oh, it's... um. This really is, for me, heading towards of end-of-night stuff. If you've been out, you've had a couple of pale ales, you've had a couple of IPAs, you're looking for something different at the end of the night, maybe... I could quite easily have two of these, maybe three of these at the end of the night. The mouthfeel is fantastic. There's good carbonation, chocolate, coffee, and caramel flavors in abundance. A little bit of sweet caramel, a little bit of bitter chocolate, bitter dark chocolate, a little bit of bitter espresso-like coffee, and then, and then the vinous qualities that just come from the, the malts are just marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Need to have a breath. Creamy, dense, lactosey mouthfeel. Good carbonation. Stops the beer feeling flat, but not too much carbonation to kind of fill you up, you know? It's a beautiful beer. It really is a beautiful beer. There's vanilla flavors coming through. There's a touch of honeycomb coming through. And I go through stages. I go through stages because I have a lot of beer sent to me. I think you all kind of know and understand that, yeah? Uh, we've got some channel sponsors. We have some people who are very kind enough to send us beer. I buy a lot of beer myself. And I go through stages of reviewing, say, quite a few IPAs and, and quite a few double IPAs. And then I go through a stage of absolutely craving a porter or an imperial porter or a stout or an imperial stout. I don't know if, if you guys have that same... Pardon me. 
I don't know if you have that same um, situation that, that I have it in that every now and again I just crave a really good stout or a really good porter or imperial strength stuff yeah a good Baltic porter or something like that and this this would be that craving this would be in my mind this is what I want from a porter this is what I want from a stout good drinkability good mouthfeel lots of plummy figgy vinous flavors lots of roasted flavors coming through from the roasted malt some vanilla it's just fantastic a fantastic fantastic porter no wonder people are raving about this brewery I was out the other week, and I, I know it's a different beer style, but I went out the other week uh, to a to a launch event of a beer, and I had a bit to drink, had a lot of these IPAs and and and, bit, and I got a bit. You know when you start to flag when you're out, you, you just you know you you hit the wall if you like. For me personally, there's only two styles of beer that will reverse the wall. The wall you hit when you think you've had enough. One is a sour. Whatever crazy things are in... I know there's no crazy things, but, but sour beer seems to lift me onto my toes again. And it brings me back literally from the dead. I've never tried it, but I reckon a porter could do the same thing. A good porter like this. But a porter like this... I felt rough. I think I might have told you this story before. I felt rough one year, had lots to drink in Poland, and I had, I thought I was going to, I thought it was the end. Not the end, the end, but I thought it was the end of my drinking while I was in Poland because I just had too much. And I had some bad food as well, which was just really unfortunate. And I had the bellies, the bad bellies. And the only thing that settled me down was the same style of beer that I had twice. One was by Brava Pinta and it was their Imperial ba Baltica, which is their Baltic Porter, Imperial Baltic Porter. That sorted me out because I was in a restaurant and I remember, them, I remember ordering from the menu thinking, I don't want nothing. I do not want nothing from this menu. And I just met these people and it was really kind of, oh no. So I ordered just some soup. What I thought was soup. But it wasn't just soup. It, it had kind of in cow's intestines in it. So I ordered some crazy soup. And I remember just leaving the table thinking, ah, oh, this is just, it, just, just my luck. I didn't want anything anyway. And then I ordered soup with cow's intestines in it. So, Anyway, I had this Imperial Porter and that just settled my stomach completely. And then the next day it happened again. I had the, um, oh, what did I have? I had the famous, the, the famous Baltic Porter from, uh, from Poland. And that, that sorted me out. It's like 9%. I'm talking, oh, Tisky. I think it was called Tisky Baltic Porter. That's what sorted me out. Anyway, I think I've gone all the way around the block with this review. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I love this style of beer. I just love this style of beer. And when brewed right, it's amazing. Let's rate it. Sorry for the long-winded story. I'm, I'm starting to be like grandpapa, aren't I? Sit on my knees, son. I'm going to tell you a story. It's going to last all night. Rating. Five point five percent ABV stick baguettes and promenade porter. Wonderful, wonderful beer. Ten out of ten. It's a stone the crows. Ten out of ten from me, Low Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.